Hello, lovelies. I am back. Yes. The last time I did anything via podcast or YouTube was probably in 2019. Um, I did have that viral video go live, but that was on Facebook. And that was in 2020. But apart from that, I have been pretty much out of the podcasting and YouTubing world. But um, whew, it's 2021 and 2020 has been been a year it has been a year um there was there's nobody that wasn't um, af um affected somehow by um the going on of 2020 in the social sphere the political sphere the health sphere and all of that and um really 2020 was a year of, of regrouping and um and yes i'm i'm going to say i did make some accomplishments in 2020 but um you know there was there was definitely no podcasting done by me or broadcasting or youtube or anything of that nature and this uh video is being um also broadcast uh, via podcast as well so whether you listen to the podcast or you're watching on youtube hello i'm back and the plan is to continue on this trajectory um but you know it's 2020 was a tough year. It was a tough year for everybody and myself included. Thankfully, I didn't get sick, nor did my family get sick um, from the coronavirus. But, you know, I did battle months of anxiety and depression. And um, in the midst of trying to run a business and trying to homeschool and trying to work and all of that, um, things like podcasting just did not come up. But, you know, it's 2021 and here we are. Has, has, have things changed in the political sphere? Eh, not really. But <laughs> the truth is that we have to live. Life goes on. And if there's one thing that 2020 really taught me is the fact that um, my life is more than just me alone. I have to um, go out there and add value wherever I can. Um in 2020, I did make strides in my business. I did move forward. I did gain clients who, at this point, need a coach more than ever. And it was up to me to step up into that space and help people that need help. So uh, currently, I am a physician, a physician coach. I help doctors just like me. Um, defeat burnout and create options for themselves outside of medicine. Options can include streams of income, fun, freedom, autonomy, whatever the doctor wants. And I do this through life business and career coaching for physicians. I help authors write books and start their book businesses with a view to creating multiple streams of income from said books. I also work with the holist weight loss forward slash weight wellness program and I'm one of the mindset coaches I do um, help people defeat negative mindsets that help them from uh, reaching their weight loss goals and I help people develop positive mindsets so here I am it's 2021 and I'm and um, you're not you, you know you're not gonna basically you're not gonna be able to get rid of me that easily but today I want to talk about something that comes up every single year, and that is the topic of New Year resolutions. Here's the deal. Can we give them a rest already? Like, what? Aren't you a coach? Aren't you supposed to be encouraging us to make New Year resolutions? Uh, no, absolutely not. So first of all, I'm a coach, and I believe in helping people find strategies and solutions that work. Not keep on doing the same things that don't work, and expect them to all of a sudden work. That's not how coaching works. And if people are hiring me to help them find solutions, they will be very, very displeased and disappointed if I were to recommend something that I know for a fact doesn't work. Now, there was a study done by, I think it was US Today, that showed that 80% of New Year resolutions are broken by the first week of February. So if you're watching or listening and you make new year resolutions it's time for you to stop in fact it's better for you not to even make any plans at all than to make a new year resolution yes why because a new year resolution is just a wish 
So who remembers the genie stories, right? The, the the stories of I think the Aladdin with the lamp and you know he rubs the lamp, a genie comes out and grants him three wishes. Let me tell you something about a New Year resolution. A New Year resolution is like trying to rub a lamp, but it doesn't have a genie inside. It doesn't have anything actually. So you just rub a lamp, make a wish, and hope for the best. That's what a New Year resolution is. Let me tell you something. New Year's resolutions do not work. And there's a reason why they don't work. So if your New Year resolutions haven't worked up till now, the answer is not make another New Year resolution for the 26th year running. No. If your New Year resolution didn't work for 25 years or 10 years or 5 years or 4 years or 3 years, then they're not going to work in year 26 or 4 or 5 or whatever. The, and there's a reason why New Year resolutions don't work. And I'm going to tell you why New Year res resolutions don't work and what you should do instead. So before I talk about New Year resolutions, let's remember this. There's nothing magical about January. There's nothing magical about New Year's Day. There's nothing spiritually significant or special about the first day of January. And people will, have, you know, sometimes depending on what world you come from, people will have you believe that, you know, going from 31 to the, the 31st of December to the 1st of January has some special connotation and all of that and da, 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 da. Great. Things have the connotation that you and the meaning that you give to them, not a meaning in as of themselves. Think about this. Calendars are man-made. So now the worldwide calendar is called the Gregorian calendar, which was a reform of, I think, the, the Julian calendar, which was a reform of the Roman calendar, right? So we have other calendars too. We have the Chinese calendar, which you've probably heard of. We have a Hebrew calendar. We actually have an Igbo calendar. Igbo is a, a Nigerian ethnic group, and there's an Igbo calendar. All of these are, many of these are used side by side with the Gregorian calendar that's in use worldwide. But guess what? Calendars were man-made. So there's nothing special about the 1st of January. When you wake up is your morning. So you don't have to make a New Year's resolution on the 1st of January. You can decide to change at any time. You can decide on the 2nd or the 3rd or the 4th or June or August or the 30th of December. Nothing special about January. But in the light of the fact that this is January and it's usually people use this to refocus and recharge and reset and redo and, you know, uh, plan for the year ahead. There's, you know, that's a good idea. I do the same thing too. However, I also review my goals every week and my plans. You know, I don't wait till the next year to decide that something worked or didn't work. Now, um, so about New Year's resolutions, because, you know, I'm here to tell you to stop making New Year's resolutions. They're useless, they're stupid, and they don't work. Um, so the reason, and there's a reason why they don't work. Right? Like I said, it's like trying to rub a, an empty lamp with no genie inside. But here's the thing. There's no genie anywhere. You are the genie. You are the genie that's going to bring your own goals and plans to pass. So first of all, a New Year's resolution is not a goal. It is not a goal. It's just, a, oh, I want to run a mile every day for the next year. So what? Who cares? <laughs> A New Year's resolution is not a goal. A New Year resolution is not a plan to achieve anything. It's not a strategy. It's not, it's not anything that can provide you with any springboards for action. A New Year's resolution presumes that there's only one time for change, and that's New Year. Why? What if, you know, you don't like the way things are going in January and decide, yeah, in February, I want to do the other different thing. There's not only one time for change. You can change whatever you want to change whenever you, you can make a decision to change whatever you want to change whenever you want to change it. So a New Year's resolution does not, presumes there's only one time for change. A New Year's resolution can just keep you in your comfort zone. Here's what happens. We will make a New Year's resolution, break it, then wait till next year before they make another, the same New Year's resolution again. It's like, you know, but if you have, something that's working and then you can now work on the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and keep making progress okay a new year's resolution is unidimensional well i want to run to, I, I want to run a mile a day why it's unidimensional it's like a 2d object right 
a New Year's resolution doesn't take into account all the moving parts that, that, that need to happen in order for your goal to be reached. And I'm going to talk about goals in a minute because you're going to hear me use that word a lot. Goals, goals, goals. When you're discouraged, a New Year's resolution cannot stand on its own merits. It's like trying to build a house of cards and move into it. That's not going to happen. A New Year's resolution doesn't take into account the mindset work that goes into making changes in life. So what are we talking about? New Year's, I said all this to tell you that New Year's resolutions don't work. So if you've been making New Year's resolutions and breaking them, it's not because there's something wrong with you. In fact, it, right now, if you think there's something wrong with you, pause, sit back, take a deep breath and repeat after me. There is nothing wrong with me. You've just been rubbing an empty lamp, hoping for a genie when there's no genie inside. And now that you know that, you can decide what next to do. So this is the point where you say, am I going to keep making New Year's resolutions? Or am I going to do what works and what works? I have a system that I call GPSAC. And I'm going to explain, to, uh, explain that to you right now. Now, G stands for goal. Your goal is the thing you want to be, do, or have. Basically, the thing you want to have. Let's break it down. That's the goal. That's the end goal, right? Um, I'm going to use an example that plagues everyone at this time of the year. Weight loss, right? Everybody wants to lose some weight. Blah, 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 blah. But you, you, you have to start with what you want to be. What is the thing you want to be? So, for example, let's say you weigh 400 pounds. You might want to be 200 pounds. Let's say you weigh 400 pounds with excess fat. Now you want to be 200 pounds of, you know, maybe more muscle. That 200 pounds, that's the goal. The 200 pounds you want to get to is the goal. The goal is not uh, lose 10 pounds or lose 2 pounds or lose 2 pounds. That's not the goal. That's not enough. And your goal has to be meaningful to you. Okay? So your goal is what the thing you want to be, do, and have. Okay? Now, the next thing is be 200 pounds. Now, the next thing is the how. How do you go from 400 pounds to 200 pounds? The answer is simple. It's 400 minus 200. 400 minus 200 is 200. So your plan is to lose 200 pounds. Right? So now, guess what? A New Year resolution will not do this for you. A New Year resolution will not give you those, okay, the step by step. This is what I want and how am I going to do it? Right? Lose 200 pounds. The next thing, so we have goal, that's G. P for plan. S for strategy. Your strategy, and this is where you have a lot of strategies that you can use to lose 200 pounds. You can decide to join my program in Holist and go from 400 to 200 pounds. You might decide, okay, you know what? I'm going to go to a doctor and do weight loss surgery. That's a strategy. You might say, okay, I'm going to go to a doctor and check my blood work and find out if I have some hormone imbalances wrong with me. This, oh, see, 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 you, there are so many strategies to work your plan. And once you can get this right strategy, your plan will give you, bring you closer to your goal. So we have goal plan strategy. What's left? Remember GPS AC. It's actually GPF hyphen AC. The next thing is A. And, and when it comes to goals, people forget that piece. Accountability. If there's a goal that you've been trying to meet and you haven't been able to meet, you need some accountability. Hire a coach. Get a mentor. Get an accountability partner who is on the same journey. So you, if you're trying to lose 200 pounds, don't get an accountability partner that's trying to gain 50 pounds and become, I don't know, the, a weightlifter or whatever. See? It's like having your two eyes staring in the same direction. In fact, I dare say, if you're trying to lose 200 pounds, don't get an accountability partner that's trying to lose 10 pounds because there will be some, some things that you will have to do that your other partner may, may, not, may, may not have to do. And if you can't find an accountability partner, that's how, why you hire coaches. There are many coaches. It doesn't have to be me. But instead of making New Year resolution, the same New Year resolution for the next 10 years, 
do something that actually works. And it's totally worth it to pay someone to tell you what you know already. Because, guess what? It's what you do that works, not what you know. So, <laughs> it's what you do. It's not what you know. Get a coach. Get a mentor. Get accountability. Learn to hold yourself accountable to the things you say you're going to do. And the last but not the least is consistency. You need to be consistent. The journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. But it doesn't end with one step. You have to keep going and going and going until you meet your goal. And that's why your goals have to be meaningful to you. Your goals shouldn't be based off of keeping up with the Joneses. Your goals shouldn't be based off of trends or what everybody is doing now. It has to be something that's meaningful to you. Because if it's not meaningful to you, you're going to drop it on the way. If it's not meaningful to you, you're not going to you're not going to stick with it. You're just not. And when things become hard, you keep going and going and going even when you don't feel like it. Even when you don't when you feel like eating cookies and you want you, you know you need to eat a vegetable. You keep going because your goal means something to you. And that's why you have to dig deep. You see, so 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 if you think of all the things that have to happen for change to happen, you'll realize that a new year resolution new year resolution falls short. And if you keep breaking your new year resolution, it just results in self-hatred because you start to think there's something wrong with you, and there ain't nothing wrong with you. You're fine. You just need you just need to do things differently. You wouldn't use a computer as a flotation device. You wouldn't use a shoe as a hammer. A New Year's resolution can tell you the things you wish, but they won't, they, will, they, they, they are not going to, a New Year's resolution is not going to help you bring those things to pass. What's going to bring them to pass? Have a goal, a plan, a strategy, get some accountability, get some consistency, and if you, if you need me to help you with that, please just send me an email. Info at shalaezeokoli.com. My first name, last name. Info at S-H-O-L-A-E-Z-E-O-K-O-L-I.com. And, you know, and maybe you, you know, maybe we can, maybe, maybe we'll work together. Right? So, um, let me know. Um, if you're watching this, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, subscribe to the channel, like, and click the bell icon so that you will get notifications. And if you're listening to this on podcast, then you know what to do. Give us a rating, um, you know, five stars, preferably <laughs> give us a rating, you know, so that we can show up on more podcast platforms, the more, the more highly, um, we are rated. So Thank you very much for listening and I will uh, talk to you next time.